The road to self-care can be an exquisite ride, but it can also be a lonely ride. But it's in these moments that you'll find that loving yourself is one of the best medicines for self-care. It's almost as if when you find yourself, every negative emotion just glides off of you and you're ready to face the world in a way that you've never imagined before. So believe in yourself and believe in the power of what finding yourself can bring to you in your life. Tip number one for self-care. The road will definitely get lonely, but it only gets lonely if you let it speak to you in ways that you don't understand. You've heard this a million times before. Work it out, get some exercise. But how is exercise supposed to alleviate the way that I feel? How is it supposed to take care of my emotions? Is it going to make them vanish? Will it help solve them? No, because at the end of the day, I'm still thinking about what I initially thought. The difference is that I'm starting to emotionally exhaust myself through physical activity. And it's, in, and it's in this physical activity that I find the clarity that I never found in myself. Because I'm starting to untie these small accomplishments of climbing this hill with climbing something emotionally that was keeping me from being able to climb to begin with. It's almost like on the way up to this hill, I'm talking to myself about these things. And in transition, I'm starting to realize the acceptance of these things. Sometimes I think too many things at the same time that I don't know exactly what I'm feeling. But I know that I want to try to understand every part of those voices because I've been neglecting them for years. And today, like any other day, I'm going to listen to those voices. And when I'm done with this hike, I realize 